Mm-hmm. So it's it's essentially going to change the way that that bowlers first prepare for their training. Secondly, how they overcome their injuries or manage their injuries. I guess it's diet. I guess it's the way they warm up and they and they stretch stretch down as well. But are you surprised with so many bowlers? I am, but I want to know from 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 you two, especially you, Mitch. Are you shocked with how many fast bowlers are getting injured these days with soft soft muscle tears? I mean, there's a, there's a lot going on. It's a, it's a pretty big conversation. This, and we've had the conversation mm-hmm. plenty of times uh, through our career together, and um, we all we both agree. You know, bowling that's what we're here for. We're here to yep. bowl and play cricket. Um, yeah, there is a the, the strength and conditioning component is, is important if you're doing the right the right things, and that's where ball fit comes in. We do the right things. Uh, and it's monitored uh, correctly, uh, but in the in the end, it, it's about getting out there and, and playing cricket. It's it's bowling. One thing that stood out for me this this past season with WA uh, and Justin Langer, they changed everything this year. Where they they still have injuries, yeah. but I think they're on the right path. They started to play a little bit more cricket instead of doing a full preseason. So part of the preseason was they would get themselves to the their best possible uh, position, uh, strength-wise, conditioning-wise, and then what they did, they started to play a bit more cricket, right. uh, and I can that relates to bowl fit a lot, a lot because um, it is about bowling, uh, and I think they're on the right path. It's, it's you, you've got to get your body used to bowling day in day out uh, because it's not a natural thing bowling. Mm. We, we know that it's it's everyone's it's got weird. different action. It is, yeah, and you need to keep repeating it. It's. It's not something you can just bowl for 20 balls and go and have a break and have a couple of days off. You know? That was Sachin calling by the way. We'll have to have to leave you to him, mate. We've knocked you out too much. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was sure. a shock. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, um, it, it's, it's really important to, to bowl. and um, uh, That's why this, this is a really good program because I've been through this and Jock's seen it as well mm. with, with working with yourself and others. Uh, through the game and with all these experience so it's um there is a lot of experience in, in the app and yeah I, I just yeah i just believe that um bowling is the key um but you have to do all those other little things around it mm. um to get it right as well but um yeah i mean we, we like i said we, we've talked about this so many times mm. it's, um, we're, we're playing rides and yeah, yeah. but and, and that's that's right what do you say about bowling you need to bowl long periods, having them having those trial games in the whacker, you know, a lot more cricket, I know it used to take him three to four months of playing cricket until he hit his full pace. Yep, yep. And it's like you saying, Bolt, you can't run 9.5 seconds year round, you've got to build up to it. Mm, yeah. And so if you have long periods off, it's going to take that long to get your pace up. And so all the strength and conditioning work we do in bowl fit and the bowling, is a combination to help you guys bowl faster for longer periods and, and be a weapon for the whole match. And also the app then monitors when you're in season, so you can keep, you need to keep doing some of that strength and conditioning just to, to keep topping it up uh, and keep that, that strength and stability there. Um, but then you, you've got that workload with your bowling, so it's, it's monitoring all that to, to make sure you're you're not doing too much or not enough mm, so you're yeah. getting that right, right you're almost in that sweet spot the whole yeah, time yeah. 